Hi guys, welcome. It is Monday, March 16th, better known as Austin 316 day. So uh, with that being said, I'm wearing my Stone Cold Steve Austin 316 shirt. And since I have a lot of free time thanks to the coronavirus, I thought that it'd be a good time to get back on the YouTube train. Uh, I've been super busy, but um, for this video, I tried thinking about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to talk about. And one of the things that I haven't been able to do is share most of my pictures from Nashville. So without further ado, I wanna get into some of the pictures that I want to highlight from my Nashville trip last year that I actually haven't been able to share with anybody um, except on Instagram. So if you are on Instagram, follow me at Jerry Revolution. Subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see some of the pictures I took here in Las Vegas, check out my last video. I'll put up a tag. It'll be linked at, at the very end of the video. Uh, I'll put it in the description. No excuse for you not to watch. So let's get into it. All right, there is one picture that I really wanna take a look at, and that is of Mikey. Uh, me and Mikey were kinda just going around the city, like taking a look at some pictures, and we were at the Nashville Pedestrian Bridge. And this structure uh, is beautiful. The bridge is beautiful because you can get a lot of scenic shots of off of the distance, the lake, the Nissan Stadium. Uh, but also one of the rules as a photographer is when you are looking for a good background, look up. You never know what you're going to see. And I kept looking up and it's like, how can I incorporate this structure of the bridge? And I told Mikey, Mikey, uh, hang on. And I got really low, took a shot, and this is what I got. It's a very nice picture. Um, Mikey himself, he did a little bit of modeling for Dior. So I was very impressed with, you know, obviously just how easy it was to shoot with him. He knew what to do. He knew facial expressions. He knew how to pose, when to like really, I mean, he, basically cliche, I mean, he made love to the camera. So all I had to do was press the button. So this was a great shot of Mikey. You could see a great structure, overly exposed, um, just so you could really get an idea of what the structure looked like without get, taking too much of the attention away from Mikey. Um, so this was one of my favorite pictures from this trip and it's all thanks to Mikey. This is a picture that I was very impressed with. You know, I, I like YouTube, I'm a photographer. I search for YouTube channels of other photographers and there's one photographer that I just enjoy. He's based off of Atlanta, his name is Evan Ramft. He takes some of the best street photography pictures that like fit the style that I like to see, you know, like what his pictures really impressed me a lot. And this is one of the pictures that I took that I was like, oh, this would make Evan proud. And the thing is that you have a beautiful, beautiful tree in the middle of this concrete jungle, right? You have a cool uh, civilian there, just a normal pedestrian. So you have a little bit of action going on. The only thing I would cut out of this picture is that semi truck, but maybe it adds a little something to it. I don't know. I just like how you have this very shadowy border and then you have this tree and you just have like nothing over it. So it's kind of like a heavenly drop of just light onto the tree. And I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of meaning, meaning, meaning in there, something that you can kind of just you know, maybe you could do a formalistic, you know, critique, new criticism critique of what's what's in the picture to draw new meaning. But I, I feel like this is a very good edit, very good lighting, and just one of those things that you just kind of stumble across when you're doing street photography, where it's like, oh, this could be cool. And then you go home and you edit the picture and it is cool. So I really love this picture. Most of these pictures don't have names, but I just think that they're really cool. And I just wanted to share them with you guys. All right, this next picture is of the Arcade Nashville. This arcade was designed after an Italian version of it, and you have some pretty cool shops. It's bookended by a Walgreens and some other like restaurants at the very end, and in between you have a bunch of restaurants. I actually wanna do a travel blog food review type series, and one of the spots that I went to here was a pizzeria that was just awesome. Uh, but besides that, you have a lot of people having their um, lunch there uh, during their lunch hour, people traveling in and out to cut through street, to, to, through each street. 
Uh, it's just really cool and you have this nice structure up top and I really wanted that to be the focus. That's why the bottom of it is so dim because you're just getting a good exposure of what the sky looked like that day. And I like how the symmetry of this just kind of leads down. So you have a nice little focal point of leading lines all the way down. And it's a really cool spot. I think it opened up in the early 20th century, like 1902 or something like that. And um, it was designed by an Italian who modeled it after something he had back home. And it's a nice little historical spot that you can go into because that's been operational since like 1902. So if you guys are ever in Nashville, check it out. A bunch of cool restaurants, but it was really cool. I liked it. This was in the Frist Art Museum. I keep, wanting to call it, I keep wanting to call it the Fine Arts Museum or the First Art Museum, but it's the Frist Art Museum. And this is up in the, uh, outside the, the kids' museum part, which is actually pretty cool. So if you're an adult, go upstairs and check it out. I was watching, uh, I was looking at a Frida exhibit downstairs and I just wanted to see what was upstairs and I went there. And as you guys can tell, you have the symmetry of this structure up top and the lighting was just unbelievable, right? It was a cloudy day, so you had this soft light peering through the windows. You can see it up on the left. And I just loved how symmetrical this was and I just took a picture. And the way this came out in the edit, I wanted muted colors because this was very yellowish, so I just kind of muted them. You can kind of see them off to the left. And you have this nice balance of white and black bright and dark and it's just pretty cool uh, sometimes when you're able to get indoors especially when there's nobody around take your camera out see what you get this is just one of those nice little throw-ins that's not actually outside on street art this would be more of an architecture type picture but if you guys are ever in the first art museum if you want to retake this picture go for it this is a very very um this is good practice i would say getting this really straight and aligned. So if for anything, go ahead and do some practice with your edits that way. All right, this one was a little bit of a bust. I, um, I hiked my way to this, to this location. This is obviously the Parthenon. And it's just so much, it overtook me. Like there's so much that I wanted to do with the Parthenon and I, I feel that no matter what I did, no matter what shot I took, I just couldn't get a shot of the Parthenon of at least what I had in my mind, you know? And uh, this is the closest I got to something pretty cool. Um, I feel that looking up at the structure, the way I have it set up is that you're looking at it and it looks ominous, right? You have all these Greek gods and mythological, um, you know, people that we've learned about up there. You have the pillars coming down. You have some really dark shadowy uh, shadows inside. And you have this bright light outside. I just don't I just don't know if there's a story here, and I think this is one of those shots where I just overhyped it and and I just put too much pressure on myself and I just didn't take a good picture. Um, I don't think this is a terrible picture, but I also know that it's not a great picture and it's not what I had in mind. Sometimes you just fail. So if I'm ever there again, I'm going to try something different. Maybe um, blue hour, maybe early morning, dawn. I don't know. But this is something that I'm going to have to try again in the future. Did not like this one, but I got the idea of it. So at least from memory, looking back, I could set, tell my kids like, hey, look, I was there. Very beautiful. I'll take you one day. Something like that. All right. This picture is nothing special. It's just the... Um, the um it's just a side of a building i think this was like but like a joe's crap shack is on the other side of this building or something like that and the reason why i like this is because you have this building just like kind of coming at you and this is very blue and teal so you have a lot of blue in this and just the way the brick looks there's a lot of texture in there that i played with i haven't had another picture come out so textual textualized but I feel like the brick is like coming alive in this picture and I really like it and you have the regular traffic off to the left I don't know I feel like there's it's kind of blocked in a way that it's it works and for some reason I really like it even though it's a picture of nothing but I mean isn't that what street photography is sometimes at its core just nothing but a street 
And when you're talking about street photography, I think this is the epitome of street photography. So I really like this shot. Um, I really love this building. And this is also on top of the Nashville pedestrian bridge. So I had a nice little different vantage point as opposed to being on the ground and taking pictures of my surroundings. So nice little overhead shot thanks to the bridge. All right, this is the skyline of Nashville. And in the, in the very front, you have the Batman building. Um, I was on the pedestrian bridge still, and I wanted to get a good shot of the, of the skyline. And I just, I couldn't do it, but I was there for so long that it started to get kind of dark. So I just continued lowering my, um, my, well, I continued raising my aperture and got this kind of like silhouette of the skyline. So I feel like it kind of worked out. I wish I was in a different angle. So you could definitely tell that's the Batman building uh, because it's got the two like points there. But other than that, I think I, I think, I think I'm okay with this. I feel like I could say this is natural, but I, it's not the best. I wish I had a drone. Had I had a drone, it would have looked way more badass. Probably, most likely, definitely, yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit about the night photography. I didn't do too much. And to be honest, I don't think I took any like super epic like of Broadway. I kind of was off around the circumference of Broadway. I, I, I ventured off into other areas. This is apparently the WKDF building. And I really like this because you have those red neon lights and you have this dark shadow alley, which you actually can't tell. I took another shot of this alley um, in another picture. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of headlights. So I kind of like this shot a little bit more because this kind of looks like the start of like a really creepy, maybe superhero movie where like there's the villains inside stealing data and then Batman or Superman are gonna crash through the window and stop them. But this is what you see to set up that scene. And you have this really nice misty, cloudy night and you can actually see that detail even though it's nighttime. So I put my uh, Canon 5D Mark IV's uh, low, low light to test here. And I like the way it came out. Um, this is one of the best shots I've taken ever at night where there's a lot to look at and it's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of like it. I like the shadows. I like how nicely exposed it is. Um, I, I think this is one of the best shots that I took in Nashville just only because one of the, I didn't really shoot that much nighttime photography. And this is one of those that I just kind of nailed on its own. So this one can stand um, on its own pretty nicely. All right, I think I'm gonna end it with this one. Again, on the pedestrian bridge. I really like this picture, maybe because of the way the edit came out. But to be honest, this, this to me, when I think of this, I think of Nashville. I can think about the humidity here just from seeing the, the this like river. Um, I can tell how beautiful the weather was because this, this, this very nice soft sun is just kissing this scene right here, right before uh, sunset and right before golden hour. You have the Nissan building, you know, it's very, to me, very iconic to Nashville because of the Tennessee Titans. You have this beautiful tree and, and like bushes and like just green foliage everywhere. It really shows, like represents the state of Tennessee, right? You have other bridges down there. It's just, to me, the sky, everything about this picture to me just screams Nashville and it puts me right back in that time frame and it makes me rethink of everything sights sounds tastes smells you know the feel of 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 everything the way it's clothing fit on me stuff that i touched everything it just this this is what photography is all about when you get a picture that reminds you and takes you back in time makes you remember any of the good positives of photography this picture does it for me and I love this picture. This is probably a picture that I would blow up and post, post, hang up somewhere just to remind me, hey, I, I, look at this. This is when I was in Nashville. And there's other pictures I took, definitely some of me where I was in them. I wanted to focus more on some of the pictures that I wasn't in uh, just because, you know, when I was traveling, I really wanted to show the fact that like, look, I'm here. And I didn't really do too much street, actual street photography. But there, there was so much, so much that I 
could have shown you guys. I took hundreds of pictures. Um, but these are some of the ones that when I watch them, like I definitely remember what it was like that day. And that's what it's all about. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much. If you guys have your own pictures, go ahead and leave a link down below. If you guys want to DM me on Instagram so I can see your pictures of Nashville and stuff like that. Um, I have other pictures I took in Boston, Denver. So I might do this street photography series based on places I go to. Um, but yeah, coronavirus has me quarantined. Um, I'm thinking about going to the strip just to see what it's like kind of barren but i don't know if i have time for that um i think i definitely do want to do it before there's a like a major lockdown so i might risk that but yeah that's about it guys follow my instagram hit subscribe uh happy monday happy uh 316 day and it's the great stone cold steve austin would say and that's the bottom line because stone cold said so and that's all i gotta say about that peace